Hello people there and how's it doing? Today we have the election of one other TD in the Cabin Hall constituency and I have jokes that were made up after what happened in Cabin yesterday so please stay tuned to listen in because the joke is really really funny and you will get it in a few minutes. Um, so first of all Pauline Tony Sinn Féin has got in uh, the toad seat and the toad seat. Now there's two Sinn Féin candidates the first time ever in Docky's years in Cabin we have two Sinn Féin candidates. Um, so made history in Cabin. Um, so, you know, another two Sinn Féin, I never thought I'd see it, but two Sinn Féin candidates for Cavan, I can't believe it. After them losing three council seats in the whole, like, they only have one county council now in Cal, one county council in the whole of three constituencies um, in the local elections. They've done terrible in the local elections. I don't know how to pull it off. Like, honest to God, I don't know how to pull it off. Uh, but, yeah, Pauline Tully has been elected. Uh, the independent, actually, it's the tall count. It's the tall count in Cavan. The independent, uh, Joseph Duffy, uh, on 245 votes was uh, disqualified obviously and the votes were distributed uh, but I don't know who he was I still don't know who he is <laughs> and I really do know that I, I, like, I haven't got a clue who he was um, so yeah like it wasn't anything there was no posters and not enough for him so I couldn't tell you who he was um, but you know hard luck for him because he was an independent obviously and I do feel about it I do feel very specially about independence but anyway on to the jokes about the election. Yesterday, Cam was the, the, the last place to give the, you know, the results of the, the first count. And, you know, everybody was sitting around and knowing the sound of the local radio station. And they didn't know when. They, they were told at 6 o'clock. They were told at 7 o'clock. They were told at 8 o'clock. They were told at 9 o'clock. They were told at 10 o'clock. And then at half 10, they decided that, you know what, finally, let's give out the explanation at half, the, uh, half 10. Um, funny story. I said it's a joke yesterday. You know, they all went out to the pub because at 11 o'clock yesterday, um, the folks started at ha half eight in Cavan Mullen. And at 11 o'clock, they went out for, you know, for a break and everything like that. And I said there was a, f a free bar in the town in one of the pubs in Cavan Town and everybody went down to there. And I might have been a bit of a because a lot of people made things on Twitter and everything like that. And there was a lot of said stuff said about that. Um, that the reason why the fire alarm went off, the fire alarm went off, it was by mistake. It was by mistake, the fire alarm didn't, ha didn't you know, it wasn't planned or anything, it just went off, it decided just to go off. And people were saying, you know, that's because they were drunk, <laughs> and, it, and they just hit by mistake. And you know, that's, uh, that's actually a bit logical. If you were drinking too much and it was free bar for the whole day, you know, I'm sure they would be a bit stoned. <laughs> Best sort to use. And then it gets better again. It gets better again. The put that this and the put that didn't walk. They had to wait a half an hour for the put to walk, <laughs> because they couldn't get the sheet for the uh, polling officer to read out because they didn't walk. The put that didn't walk, and they just sat there looking at the put the for half an hour. Um, <laughs> and there was a great laugh. There was a great. There was a picture up. Somebody took a snapshot or whatever you would call. And you know, it shows three county councilmen just staring at it with the shovel, looking at the front of And it's just great. It wouldn't dare in, real, in, in reality, but it's just more or less it. And that's what they do with the potholes. They just stare at it and wait for it to sort itself out. <laughs> and like, it was honestly just... Uh, it's just funny. It's really, really funny. And how bad the way to have now. But yeah, it, and people were saying I did make some sense <laughs> by saying that. Because they didn't know the, the puppy. I think the problem was they had no ink in the printer. I think that's what the serious problem was. They had no ink. They forgot to put ink into the printer and the puppy tapping away. And they didn't know there was no ink in it. Ah, oh, you can see, you can see why I was saying there was a free bar. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations to Pauline Tony. I'm not going to be so loose and say, you know, that they didn't. You know, didn't the, you know, the public didn't say, you know, they didn't want them. The public voted overwhelmingly for Champagne and Cavan. And, you know, the public gets what they want. But anyway, for the last two seats, there's two seats left to fill in Cavan. And most likely it's going to be Fianna Fawcett's. Um, I had news with Brenda Smith or uh, Robbie Bravando. Um, most likely probably Brenda Smith will get in. It looks very likely Brenda Smith will get in. But I don't know about Neve Smith or Robbie Bravando. But I really hope Neve Smith does get in. Um, you know, and I have a story to say about Brenda Smith too. Um, so, you know, my mother is, you know, not the youngest one, the person in the earth, let's be honest. Um, she's, you know, retired, obviously, and she, he walked out of her life. And this, you know, where I'm standing here now, it's a character house. It's, um, been built under the We Built an Island Project. Um, and only for Brendan Smith and Eve Smith, and which is why I'm a bit biased, and people obviously say I'm a bit biased to them. Um, because, you know, they, they helped me. When I was, you know, when I didn't have a voice, I suppose, as I have now. Back, you know, 2017, you know, back then, you know, I didn't have much of a say in Calvin County, so I didn't have a say in politics. Um, 
you know, and, and I asked them for help and I asked them, could, you know, could they support me and, you know, try and get this house? And, you know, they did. And that's why I have huge respect for them because, you know, only for them, only for the two of them supporting me. And we wouldn't have got this house. As simple as that, we wouldn't have got it. Um, because I simply didn't have enough power at the time, you know, to implement the policy that, you know, get this place. Um, so, yeah, I do owe a lot to Fina for, uh, to Brendan Smith and Eve Smith for, you know, the, you know, for the help they give me. And I really have to, you know, take them. And uh, people always say I'm a bit biased, but I think people would understand why it would be a bit biased. Um, because, you know, my mother never owned a house in her life. Like, there was no such thing as, you know, owning a house, um, you know, so, you know, she's happy to, you know, have some place to call her own now. Um, so I'm, I'm delighted too. I'm really, really happy with this house. It's just brilliant. And I'm getting the walls paid and everything here. It's just, it's going to be a dream. And it's really, really going to be a dream. I have, you know, I have to take Ben's with Neves, man. I know I'm, you know, kind of being biased here, but, you know, I have to. I really, really have to. Only for them, you know, it wouldn't have been possible. It really wouldn't have been possible. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Because uh, it would have probably been some immigrant that would have got the house instead of me, which would have, which probably would have been, which would would have been true only for them, you know, only for them sticking up for us, we wouldn't have got it. And as simple as that, so yeah, take a fortune, subscribe more, and the the more you know, I suppose you could say. So subscribe more and buy. <laughs>